what's up programmers welcome back so today we'll be moving away from our pattern printing and we'll be doing a common problem which is encountered by many people and it is found in many books this is the problem that we have to find the uh, value of e raised to x by using an expansion so if you know the formula it is e raised to x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial x uh, plus x raised to 4 by 4 factorial and so on you continue now this is an infinite series so this continues to infinity now using this series we have to find the value of e raised to x now in this case we'll be taking the x from the user and we'll be using it to find the value of e raised to x using this series okay so let's look uh, how we'll be doing this now i've written the uh, formula on the top so that you remember it while i'll be showing you the algorithm now just a quick observation if you see something that every time you multi uh, you move towards the right the power of x is increasing so you start out with here with where the power of x is 0 then you go to one power 1 then you go to power 3 so on so you are continuously multiplying this by the previous number by x so say we had 1 so we want the next uh, thing to be added to this number then we'll multiply 1 by x we get the top x right now if you want to move ahead we multiply it again by x so you get x square so on x cube and so on so this is a slight observation that I'll be using so before uh, showing you the algorithm first one formula that you need to understand now if give if you are given any number you multiply it by the next number then you get the next numbers factorial so say 1 factorial into 2 is 2 factorial so 2 factorial into 3 is 3 factorial and so on so if you take any number say 67 factorial and multiply it by the next number 68 then you get a 68 factorial now when I'll show, uh, be showing you the, uh, the algorithm when we multiply the numbers I directly uh, will write down the answer uh, so just uh, keep this formula in your mind because I'll be using this in algorithm so first what we do is that we start our answer with 1 right we have to find the x series expansion of this whole uh, in uh, this infinite series now first we start out with 1 okay so now we need to add the next number to it right so what we do we start out with 1 then we, we multiply this by x by 1 so when you multiply this by x by 1 this becomes x by 1 factorial basically x by 1 factorial is nothing but x by 1 okay so you can write it as x by 1 or x by 1 factorial I've written it down as x by 1 factorial so then what we do we take this number and we add it to our answer now we need to go to the next number right now this is x by 1 right now in the next case if we want to make this x square by 2 factorial what we need to do is we need to multiply the numerator by x and the denominator by 2 okay so what we do is that the x remains the same we increase the 1 to 2 so that we when we multiply it to this we'll get x square by 2 factorial so we increment it uh, the 1 then we multiply here so we get x square by 2 factorial and uh, we add it to our answer okay so this way we'll continue we'll continue till we get the f uh, full series that is you need to stop somewhere as is an infinite series now if you increase uh, the series if you go on till a larger number say suppose uh, x raised to 70 then the accuracy of e, uh, the actual answer e raised to x and the answer that you'll get by expanding the series will be very close so i hope this algorithm is clear now let's quickly jump into the code now here i've just created a file ex.c that is for e raised to x now I, i'll just be doing the usual stuff that is our stdio and I'll just write down main okay so now that we have written our main now first thing that we need to do is that we need to ask the user what answer he wants e raised to what answer he wants so 
so we'll just print a message and scan the input from the user okay so i just declared a variable called power i asked the user for the input and uh, to uh, stored it in this power variable now the next thing we need to do is that we need to de decide the accuracy right now this series is infinite series right so you need to stop at any party uh, at a particular time the higher the number at which you stop the higher accuracy that you will get now i'll be showing you this the difference in accuracy that you will get once the program is ready uh, so say we'll decide the accuracy to be 4 in this case so i just created accuracy variable and assigned it to 4 first what we need to start out with is put answer as 1 if you remember the algorithm properly so if you remember the algorithm correctly then we started out with our answer with 1 right so we will start out our answer with 1 then we need a variable right we had one variable which is started out with one and then multiplied by a uh, by certain factor and then we got the answer that we added to our answer okay so that variable i'll just name it as as temp now this temp variable also started out with one okay so after that we need to multiply it by certain factor and then add it to our answer now we need to do this process repeatedly so we'll be using a for loop for this now in this case i'll be using a variable called i for for uh, the for loop which will be the loop variable we'll start out from i which will start from one and then it will go till our accuracy so the first thing we need to do is that we need to update our temporary variable that is we need to multiply this temporary variable by a certain factor so if you recall properly our temporary variable is currently one okay and we need to multiply it by the current factor so when we need to get the x by one factorial we multiply it by x by one and when we need the x x square by two we will be multiplying it by x by 2 so we need to continuously increment the number by which we are dividing okay but the x remains constant okay so for the first time it is 1 for the second time it is 2 for the third time it is 3 so uh, in our loop we are we will be using the loop variable to divide the number so now let's update our temporary variable now what we need to multiply the temporary variable by x and then divided by the loop counter right so for so for the first time when we were doing it we were dividing it by one for the second time when we are doing it where we are dividing it by two for the third time when we are doing it we'll divide it by three so so on that that the number increments so now that we have updated our temporary variable now the thing that we need to do is that we need to add this temporary variable to our answer so let's do that okay so we have successfully completed our uh, ma main logic of our series so now let's print it to see the output okay so let's compile our code okay so we oh we have an error oh i forgot okay so this variable that is the power uh, i wrote down x so this will be power so let's compile now so no errors so let's run it now when we give the input as 5 it gives us an answer 65.375 now if you check the actual value now here's uh, the google calculator now the answer is actually 148.413 and i assure you that the logic that we have written is not wrong the difference here is the, the only problem here is that the accuracy that we chose in this case the accuracy that we chose was 4 now let's try increasing our accuracy to 10 so let's again compile and run it so say now enter 5 ok so the, now the answer is 146.38 if you check it it's quite close to 148 now say you want to increase the accuracy even more now what you can do is that you can go ahead and increase this accuracy so how about I put the accuracy as 30 okay so for the 30 accuracy it will it is giving 148.413 now if you check this is quite close it's not exactly the same but it is very close now if you go on increasing the accuracy you will get closer to the answer now 
but as you go on increasing the accuracy it, the program will take a large amount of time to execute so you have to choose between accuracy and speed in this program so that's it for this tutorial now before we go out i want you guys to try out this pattern now this pattern is same as the uh, pattern we did today now the only difference is that this is e raised to minus x in this case so the formula is almost same as you can see the values are same the only difference is that you have alternate plus minus sign now in this case when you start out you have a plus in this case you have a minus then plus then minus then plus now i want you guys to try this out if you guys have any problem uh, solving this part uh, this series uh, please put it in the comment section i'll put the video on this one as well so that's it for this tutorial i hope you liked it i hope this was helpful please do like our videos subscribe to our channel and visit our blog for tech uh, for the technical stuff and also if you have any doubts you can also post them on our blog our blog is we the computer guys dot com so i highly recommend you to check it out and leave your comments thank you